welcome to two fractions something focused i'm losing track but i'm rasmus and i'm red and i'm jan and i don't think i should be here <laughs> <laughs> i guess that's the right response maybe hey I'm... Ow. hey Ow. How, how the fuck are you doing not bad not bad i, I, I i'm just starting to realize the uh, the post make a central blues yeah uh, i thought i was okay as it turns out i'm not okay <laughs> oh it's, yeah. it's harsh isn't it yeah yeah I, I i think i um i avoided it the first time with make a central and i heard all these people talking about this this condition i said like, what are you talking about uh, but now i understand <laughs> so yeah. yeah i'm a little bit kind of down about it but i'm also like super relaxed and calm and happy that it happened and mm. it, it's it, i think it i don't know what it's like for you guys um, but it, it's given me another kind of breath of fresh air and yeah invigorated yeah. my passion for for everything that's going on absolutely being super energized about it <laughs> and, and down at the same time <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 which is a a, a a pleasant conflict right it's it's a a, a bittersweet, bittersweet emotion definitely I actually don't feel it at the moment. You feel but nothing, also... Rasmus. <laughs> hunger. <laughs> well, apart from hunger. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, but I, I, I guess I also did the smart and or stupid thing of traveling for another week after Make a Central. So I got home like this Monday evening. Maybe that's what it is. Oh, because, yeah, yeah. because the last two times we had so much stuff going on after. Yeah, so we're sort of but, ramping down. Exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe that's yeah. maybe that's the solution. It, uh, it, uh, <laughs> maybe uh, not for me. Okay. I, I have to. I have to say it. this. Uh, the two last time we went to Mega Central, we had the the after smithing, so we went. We stayed for a few days after the show, uh, just to be together and make stuff. And the Maker Blues or Maker Central Blues hit me way harder last time that we did that than okay. this year. This year I was prepared to, yeah, it's just a weekend. Um, so maybe I was not that involved emotionally throughout the weekend, right. just that deep to be hit by the Maker Blues um, this week. But I was also super busy. That's maybe it helped a little bit. I don't know. I only know the cold turkey variant. <laughs> just like being there and suddenly like everyone's gone and you're all alone again well, yeah, it's not, not really true. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it gives so much motivation to get back at, at making stuff making videos and, and absolutely and produce for people and it took at least four days for me till the makeup blues hit because i was yeah. so energized and i was still mm -hmm. staying in contact with everyone and writing and like yeah yeah. So all all the it's... photographs that come through, and you're still like, yeah. oh yeah, oh man, I didn't even see that. Oh, those guys. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, oh, he was there. Fuck, missed him. <laughs> yeah. I, I haven't even started to edit mine yet. Of course you didn't. No, I took. Well, I I took <laughs> six hundred pictures during. You you didn't even unpack from your moving like three months ago. So <laughs> yeah, still... <laughs> I yeah, can but... see the boxes <laughs> just behind you. <laughs> oh, the audio is still there. Like, the still boxes in the back. <laughs> Like yeah. no, that that box is now part of the apartment back there. I'm just gonna have to move again in a few years. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you just move all the time anyway. No, uh, I, right. no but, my, my point was that I um I took something like six hundred pictures through the whole week I stayed in England. Wow, wow. that's a lot. And then I went to the Norwegian Championship in blacksmithing, and I took another six hundred pictures. <laughs> wow, that's a lot. So I, yeah, <laughs> so I edited all of those from uh the blacksmithing bit. Because uh, I got asked if I could take pictures for the magazine, the Black Norwegian Blacksmith magazine. So I was like, yeah, I can probably do that. I mean, I'm standing here with the camera and I'll see what I can do. So I I was planning to, I haven't done that yet. I should have sent it over to him, but also I was planning to, oh, I have 100 pictures left that I've edited. Maybe I should try to whittle it down a little bit more and remove the most uninteresting things. Mm -hmm. uh, pictures of you. Well, I don't. It, I, I can't tell selfies with a DSLR. It's really <laughs> cumbersome and hard to aim. Yeah, it's a long arm. You can. <laughs> yeah. Well, or you need a really wide lens, but uh, well, I don't have that. And and to be fair, Res, I mean, you basically you traveled for another week, then you got back, basically directly. Like your bag, your bags didn't arrive, and you directly got on a train, like without your bags, <laughs> to like visit. I think your parents. But later, yeah. more to that later. 
<laughs> Elle hasn't finished. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I mean, getting back, as Red says, getting back into it, wanting to make things again, uh, finding projects. I instantly just started dismantling things around my house. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Uh, coffee machines, yeah. uh, furniture, nice. everything. Oh, this needs repairing. This needs oh, upgrading. Oh, you mean the coffee furniture? No, this is uh, now just actual another coffee machine, which is oh. ironically sitting on top of the coffee furniture. <laughs> 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 so there's some sort of weird Oedipus thing going on there. Um, mm. And yeah, just everything now, even more so, I, I'm I'm seeing projects and ideas in everything. Yes. You know, everything in my garden, uh, in the house, um, at work, everything is now a potential project or something creative you know and even seeing like um seeing the kids at make essential i think for me this year was the most focused on the children which mm -hmm. was super nice yeah. um and coming back now and finding things to do with the scouts things that can inspire kids in my life you know and my family and stuff um is just again it's just taking it to that next level so now i'm super excited for oh, oh man we can come up with these ideas we can you know it, it's just Everything is just inspiring me now. Yeah. More so. That is nice. Which brings us to the question, how many more cars did you buy? Oh, man, Since there's so many. So, <laughs> so how many more Vitaras can fit in your driveway? Yeah, but I, I'm, st I'm starting to like uh, broaden my horizons now as well. I was like, hmm, hmm. Suzuki made other cars. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> That's a trap. Yeah, well, I was, half, I was half expecting you to say that, oh, yeah, it couldn't fit in the driveway, so you dismantle it and put it together again in the, in the backyard. You you joke. <laughs> <laughs> but I, like two days ago, I was measuring the gap um, between my house and the shack to see if, if I could actually drive cars around the back. Because, <laughs> I mean, I've got, I've got a huge garden. You know, you could yeah, fit yeah. another five, six cars in there. Um, so that may actually happen <laughs> but at the same time my landlady who i've not spoken to in three years which is a perfectly fine relationship i don't bother you you don't bother me um decided that the world is not shitty enough she needs to put my rent up by 200 um oh. and wants to come around and visit and i'm like oh shit <laughs> and then she thinks oh how many people are living here there's so many cars parked in that driveway <laughs> how many cars are in the driveway why have you built a garage on the drive um why is there one room in the house which is just full of engines <laughs> why is the carpet that was once gray now black <laughs> so there's lots of problems to solve yeah interesting mm. and then i can you know tarmac the back garden and, and create a, a garage nice yeah not, not to speak of the bar in the living room. You got to get your beer from somewhere, though, right? Exactly. Absolutely. I support uh, that. So this week we have um, the Adam Kulsch from Top Rope Brewing Company. It's uh, it's vegan friendly and it's a light four point five percent. Ooh, sounds nice. Vegan friendly is that if it's not vegan but it tries to be or. Yeah, it's just polite to vegans. I mean, oh, so, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, wasn't that the Guinness thing where they it weren't vegan because they were using some fish bladder membrane thing to yeah. filter out some gunk? And then they were like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, never mind. I, I just. Ve vegan, vegan compatible. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask too many questions, and it's perfectly <laughs> vegan. <laughs> what about you, Raz? How was your week? Uh, well, no, it's, I mean, I did, uh, the blacksmithing or attended the blacksmithing championship. It was really fun. First blacksmithing event I went to in Norway, which was. But you went to only to watch it, uh, like attend, yeah. not, yeah. not participating yes. to any kind of contest. Why not? Uh, because I didn't want to. Okay. No, but no reason, like, like yeah. no, 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 it, just no will well, to do so. Uh, Partly because I would like to see what it's all about beforehand. I mm -hmm. wanted to mostly meet people and not be busy. Yeah. Then I ended up being busy taking pictures. I'm not sure how well that went anyway. And 
I it it's also a thing of oh I'm coming back from England like the day I need to leave to get up there and no. depending on how the schedule were to sort out which weren't perfectly clear when I booked the flight it was like I don't know shit and then of course I need also to have the time to read the description of what the hell is going to happen and prepare a little something to for to preferably practice it so I know what I'm doing during the championship and yeah yeah no I see uh, I'm tempted to participate next time but. I mean, it's one of those things where it doesn't really matter. It's also the weird thing that I don't have a journeymanship. And there's three classes to championship. There's open, journeyman, and master. Mm -hmm. so, so technically, you... I'm only allowed to enter into the open competition. So you actually have to get good first. I guess. <laughs> Either that or just actually attend to open and just crush everybody else because <laughs> all, all the other ones who attended uh, the normal thing was uh, most of them have atten ha worked attending school for blacksmithing now uh -huh. and then there were a couple who were in the middle of the Germanship. Okay. So there's actually a deadline like a time deadline that you have to keep or is it just like well we would like to finish you around that time? No, well yeah no you everyone starts at the same time and you have three hours to go. So three hours, two of them you're eating. So you yes. have to basically do in one hour what others do in three. Okay, that's yes. going to be interesting. I would actually love to see you participate in that. <laughs> and, uh, and start by cooking a meal and then finish. <laughs> or I, I, I may, maybe, uh, it depends on the theme though. But uh, this time the theme was uh, coral cooking. reef. Okay. So, I mean, if anything there goes, there was someone who just makes like uh, different Turtle uh, for like a turtle. There were people who did like uh, seaweeds, mm -hmm. really like artistically go flowing thingies, and uh, a really, really I... cute girl I met. She did a uh, miniature Atlantis. Yeah. Mm. And and there was some made just like the different sea planty things, and there was fishes and yeah. Cool. So I mean, maybe I could like forge like a fish spatula or something and cook <laughs> something with it afterwards I, I like the idea of just fucking with everybody <laughs> really oh, so, that yeah, is... <laughs> no, no, really like the, the cook, cooking Nemo thing <clears throat> Ooh. cooking Nemo <laughs> yeah I mean there's all kinds of possibilities here I'm, I'm, I, I need to figure out what the next, next year's theme is but hmm. <laughs> it's a huge part we're supposed to do underwater things. Well, it's Frying Nemo. It's not that. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, it, it's, it's been really fantastic to meet a couple of other blacksmiths from Norway that I've only briefly chatted with online. Uh, and also really amazing to see the Masters forge with strikers. Mm, nice. And um, so the guy who won, he took a bit of angle iron and he forged a fish from it. And he... He did all of these amazing things where he had to he had prepared a lot of jigs so he'd be able to work with angle iron and keep it as angle iron. Mm -hmm. So the only really deformation he did, it was a lot of cutting out and things like and straightening things, but he like basically just bent the head down so you have that line of the gills. And then he for uh, cut out a bit so you have the, the tail coming. And then he cut off sort of the unforged area. Of the square bar of the of the um, uh, angle iron, and then forged out like these two thin long tails. Mm. I was like, "What the hell's going on?" And then <laughs> then then he went crazy and he just punched a hole straight to the center of the angle iron, into Ooh. the corner and out. Yeah. I was like, "I've never seen this before." <laughs> and of course, he won. Um, nice. Nice. But I'll, I'll I'll by the time this is online, I will have published pictures. Yes, because, please, because yes. they are edited now. Um, <laughs> so, what is limited actually, to how many stupid excuses I can have. What is yeah. um, actually really interesting because you said you went there and there were like the, the open class and then apprentice and master's class. Um, as we talked <coughs> on the podcast about that before and how do you like, where do you judge yourself and where you put yourself into it? Like if you mm -hmm. didn't have like the letters or the proper um, yeah, qualifications for it. Um, where did you see yourself by comparing? But like, because now you have those different classes you can look at the people working there and that's it's basically where it's like oh yeah i'm at that level or basically it's like well i'm mostly at that level but there's some stuff i didn't know so do you know how did you find anything 
Oh, also, I'd like to win. So <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Ten them at this um, time. Because so much of well, it's a competition. It's more about planning and dealing with the stress of the moment than actual technical forging. Mm -hmm. Because if you're just able to plan ahead, you can figure all of the problems out. Mm -hmm. But if you're bad at planning, then you don't realize that the problems. So the 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 girl who did like the Atlantis piece, she had seven different pieces that she was trying to rivet to the same round dish and just... i saw that and i really liked that one because it was so much so different from the other ones yeah so she realized that oh she hadn't thought through how to actually hold the part she's going to rivet securely while being able to hammer on the end of it without it moving and all that and from experience i know that's really difficult so it was really interesting to see that if she had a plan and she didn't so she, what she ended up doing is like and almost destroying it once and then just going fuck it and then just copper soldering everything together okay and that worked nice she didn't good win, but it was right? really cool to see like the problem solving in the moment after, and the stress of it um and, but uh, so I'm, I'm not confident i would win the german class but it would be definitely unfair for me to participate in the open class because i have so much experience in thinking ahead hmm. whereas they don't, yeah. but I also I'm definitely not the master smith because I I'm lacking a lot of the knowledge that a master smith is supposed to have, especially if it comes into the really artistic bits and architectural and structural mm -hmm. parts of forging. I'm I'm missing all of that. I mean I'm really good at making hand sized things that can that I can sell at markets, and I'm good at making them efficient. But that's about it. Soon. Hopefully. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. I'm sure. How about your week then? Red. Mine? Uh, same as usual. Uh, renovation, remodel, restoration of the apartment. But I'm, I am I don't want to say it right now because we're recording on a Wednesday and it will be published on Sunday. But if everything goes to plan on Sunday, I will be done. So mm -hmm. I can I can sort of say that I'm done. Um, You're close to done. I'm I'm super close to done. That's uh, very nice. Yeah, the the all the three rooms are done. Walls, uh, flooring, baseboards, electric outlets, everything is completely done. Uh, all the furniture as are assembled. Uh, so now we have we have a sofa and beds and and stuff. Uh, all I need to do now is to to just do a big cleanup of the the house uh, because <laughs> it's paint everywhere <laughs> on the floor and and glue and stuff. So it will be easy to to remove. But also all the old floorings and cardboards for the the furniture. So yeah, I'm I'm done. Just need to clean everything and then move in. And and I can't wait. Because... And and then do the rest of the yeah. stuff to the household. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I can't. I'm not allowed to say that word in in a podcast anymore. <laughs> I, I, I can't say. I can't say that. <laughs> I can't say that. Uh, Happiness no. in the household. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, we we we'll have to uh, remodel the bathroom at some point, but but we want to move in first, so that mm. will be for. I don't know, June, July, or next year, September. No, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, my wife uh, and I are the same. We don't like to live in a mess. Mm. Uh, so the bathroom is, is super messy at the moment. Oh, okay. We, okay. we can use it, but it's, it's so ugly and messy uh, because the previous owner uh, left it uh, that way that we, are, we won't be able to live three months or more uh, in, in, this, in, a, in an apartment with a, a messy bathroom. So it, it will, we will start the, the remodel of the bathroom probably end of June or July or something like that, if it's not too hot to be working in a bathroom. So anyway, I'm done. I'm happy. We'll move in uh, as soon as possible. Nice. So yeah, that was my week. Jan, what about you? Um, good question. No, I'm back <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> um, it's kind of difficult. I've been spending a lot of time in the garden again, mm -hmm. because uh, today we had our first 30 degrees Celsius plus day, which is in US, I think somewhere around like the night. Yeah, hot, hot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. One million degrees. 
uh, felt like it at least. <laughs> Uh, cutting out like brambles in the garden uh, in in my lunch during my lunch break because if I don't do that the the weeds are gonna take over. Uh, coming back from Maker Central, uh, I found out that basically all of my stuff in the garden has been exploding. Like yeah, big the, time. yeah, it's it's been um, when we went to Maker Central, we had great weather in Birmingham actually for the mm-hmm. time there. It was raining here, and after that, it started getting warmer. Uh, so we went from about 12 to 13 degrees Celsius last week to 30 degrees today. Yes. And you can definitely see it in the garden. <laughs> uh, so I just started uh, digging out brambles and probably had a little bit too much fun in the sun. And because it wasn't enough, I also did a bike ride in the afternoon like after I actually finished my actual work, which has also been picking up. Um, I've been talking about it that we had some issues at work because of delivery dates and all that stuff. So that's yeah. kind of been resolved, but we're still dealing with the aftermath of that. So okay. there's no shortage in working hours and getting everything sorted out and calling up customers and all of that. So it's dra- like um, it's kind of draining over the day to like mm-hmm. it's really exhausting to just have to be on your top game and like call the customers and explain everything and also get in the background um organizing new dates and everything and get everything set up uh then there's the post uh maker blues go for maker central blues of course going on uh also a lot like a ton of new ideas during work of course because i can concentrate on one thing and mm-hmm. it's just like well i want to build this and i'm like no no back to the excel file Yep. But it's really like I would like to do this. And I'm there this week, like last week. I and was, it's sunny outside. It's sunny outside. <laughs> and I should also do stuff in the garden. And oh my yeah. God, it's too much. I'm just going to lay on the ground, put up my feet and wait till it's all going away. <laughs> yeah. No, it's 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 kind of crazy at the moment. And, I, and, and I, I love it at the one part. And the other one, it's exhausting because after such a long time, time period where you're like on hold and waiting for stuff also i haven't been really creative when it comes to like making stuff now it's all gushing down on me it's like it's all at the same time (laughs) work is picking up i should work in the garden i also there's a lot of stuff to do and there's a lot of ton of new projects i want to do and a lot ton of old projects i want to finish like finally get done i started filming i'm now film like i said finish one project start the next one fuck it I'm filming six projects at the moment and it's driving me insane and I'm running out of hard drive space and I have multiple terabytes of hard uh, hard space. So this is kind of like, I'm kind of getting anxious about it. So that's been my week. <laughs> might, like week. might I suggest you have bitten over more than you can chew? No, keep going. Keep going. Jan, <laughs> yeah, it. exactly. I, no, I'm, I'm, at, the, at, this, at this point, I'm just embracing the chaos. Yep. Just grow your beard a little longer. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Been, been, been there, done that. Doesn't help. No, no. Because then I have children coming up for, uh, up to me and asking for owls. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> yeah. No, it, it, I totally feel you, dude. And, and it's exactly the same for me. The um, My garden exploded while I was away at uh, Maker Central. Yeah. And that weekend was when they started to collect the garden waste. So the council come and collect your, you have like a bin. Just oh, yeah, yeah. Stuff. Um, because normally I compost, but my two compost bins are completely full. So I have all this stuff and all these weeds to get rid of. And it's yep. just like, oh, blah, blah. And I, I love it. I'm the same, uh, but there's just so much going on. And then when I'm working from home, I'm like, oh, there's like uh, seven minutes until my next meeting. So I run outside <laughs> and pull some weeds. <laughs> exactly. and I, I come back into the meeting and I'm like covered in mud all over my face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's just that I'm sitting there. I can look out into like the where I put some um, some so planted new plants, and I see some weeds growing there, and I recognize it during the meeting. So I'm like, only half there, and I'm basically looking out there like I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. And it's like meeting's over. Oh great! It's like running out. It's like gotcha. <laughs> oh, there's another one. And it's like oh, I'm late two minutes for the next meeting. Running back in, and yeah, it's, it's, it's the exact same. Like you're saying something you're raising up your hands and you see like the earth like underneath the fingernails and everywhere and you're just like <laughs> it's, it's not engine oil this time it's, it's mud <laughs> exactly yeah you need to change it up Come yeah on. there's there's a strong oil, stro- oil. There, there's a strong wind going outside and I had to like put up some plants that were like blown over during the last meeting <laughs> yeah 
No, it's great fun. Like I, I really enjoy it. Actually, it's better than um, just sitting there with the makeup blues and not being able to do shit. So, I rather have everything coming in at the same time and. That's better than doing nothing. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, that's fair. So how how do you do? Because Al and Jan, you both uh, talked about the makeup blues, and and I also had to deal with it like three years ago. How? Do you deal with it right now? It's hitting you. Uh, what do you do to make it pass or to just like, um, yeah, just deal with it? What do do you have a a plan, a recipe, a trick, something to that? Because the people that listen to us, uh, most of them or some of them came to make us something, and they probably are are hit by the makers blues as well. So if you have any tip for them, just. Yeah, I'm just curious. So, so for me, for this time, um, I have a slightly different approach. And I think mm -hmm. in the past, for me, it would be how can I distract myself, right? Mm -hmm. How can I um, pretend I'm not depressed or pretend yeah. I'm not suffering by, like you say, Jan, keeping myself busy. I don't know why I'm doing this. Uh, by keeping <laughs> myself busy, um, <laughs> making, making things, uh, distracting my brain, you know, um, overwhelming myself. Mm -hmm. Because if I'm overwhelmed, then I can't feel it. It's like if you have a sore tooth, mm -hmm. if you go and punch the wall, right, your hand will hurt more than the tooth. So it, yeah. it, it distracts your brain, right? Yeah. Um, that's honestly, not medical honestly, advice. Don't do that. My, my dad used to tell me that. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, it literally works, but it's terrible advice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> T tell your best friend that something's hurting and he will punch you. It's like, nah. <laughs> No, you have something else that hurts. Kicked in the balls, man. You're gonna forget about that too. Really quick. Exactly. Um, but that was, I mean, listening to myself use that metaphor, obviously explains that's a terrible way to deal with <laughs> to deal with issues is to um, overburden yourself. Yeah. But I found the approach this way um, is to reach out to other people, mm -hmm. talk to other people, because, like you say, Red, other people will be feeling it. Other people mm. would be feeling um, other forms of blues, whether it's the, the, the make essential blues or the mm. credit blues or the COVID blues, whatever. Um, and hearing their stories, helping them with their stories, letting them help you with your stories yes. seems to me the most healthy and most yeah. effective way of doing, dealing with it. Yeah. Yeah. I completely you can't agree. do it yourself and you can't go and yeah. sawdust yourself to sanity. That is true. That's right. But you can forge sanity. It's just woodworking. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I agree with Al. It's it's the exact same thing. Is I kind of like being busy at the moment, but because of what happened in the past and in the last couple of months, so I'm really enjoying being busy. But then on the other side, I'm really clear about that it's not. I'm not doing it to distract myself mm -hmm. this time. Um, I'm really well aware and it usually shows in the evenings when I finally like have the stuff done or I, it's getting dark and I can't do any more work in the garden. And believe me, I have one of those crazy headlamps, LED strip ones. <laughs> <laughs> I try to like, I've been out there at like, I don't know, 10 o'clock in the evening still <laughs> digging out brambles uh, when people completely think I'm crazy or my neighbors think there's like an alien landing in the, in the yard. But yes. um no, it's that's that's the point where I allow myself to um, deal with the situation, and I, I miss that. And I'm, I'm more in contact now with people. And back then, when 2019 wa was my first time, I wrote a lot of people, and now I'm actually just taking my phone and I'm start calling up people, nice. yeah. which is also nice because you now I know a lot more people, so it's not that awkward. I'm not calling mm -hmm. up a random person going like, hey, so how are you? <laughs> I feel like talking. Um, it's, it's more I like... I had a few of those calls of you, Jan. <laughs> 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 I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's the one of the things I said in the other one. It's just like if you watch someone for too long in the videos and you're like, oh, I know everything about that person. Like, we're like best buddies. Like, wait, no, no, no. He doesn't know me that well. Um no, what really coming down to is uh, this time I had a lot of like longer conversations with people, just calling them up and like, hey, how are you doing now? And hey, did you get home safe? Like, how's everything going? So, so by the way, we, we hung out a lot. You're still testing negative. Oh, that's that's good to know. Thank you. <laughs> no, just 
it's just hanging out and um i don't know if it's because i'm getting old but somehow something i didn't used to do yeah. for for me it was always writing people it was like more the texting thing the, the email thing instead of just like picking up the phone and calling someone and i don't know why because yes. i much rather have a phone conversation or a video chat than actually texting because that's just exhausting and uh you always have to put your feelings with like different kind of weird smileys in the back of the, <laughs> the message and i yeah. fucking hate that <laughs> yeah that's that's quite difficult <clears throat> sorry that's it's something real emotional that... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you helped me uh no that that that's actually something really hard to do uh from my point of view just to call people i mean um uh, i always encourage people to reach out to other people because um that's for me the best way to um, deal with depression or uh, anxiety like other people are always the, the key or the answer to most of your problems um but calling people i mean we are not in a in 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 an age where it's easier at least in my country to call uh, people because now they see your number or your name yeah, appear yeah, on the yeah. screen and and uh, then they they don't want to talk to you they, they just uh, don't uh, answer um sure so we not just French people being French again? No, that's French people being French. Totally, uh, <laughs> totally. But so, so I'm. Uh, I I know that for a fact for French people. So I tend to text them. It's way easier for me because I know that they will answer when they can answer, and I'm not disturbing them and I'm not forcing them to answer the the phone when they don't want to talk, uh, or when they are busy. Um, but for for people in the community and friends in the Nika community, I don't call them because I'm always afraid to force them to answer the phone mm. and and disturb them in uh, moments they are not like uh, free. They don't have the time. They are they are not in a good situation for them to talk, or they don't have, have the mindset to be in a conversation with someone else because they are preoccupied or stressed by something. So it's 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 really delicate to find the right time to, for me to just like hey can 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 I call you or chat and so so I I like your idea yeah sure, of sure, just sure calling and well no, like no I'm I'm not just just calling I'm it usually starts with writing but I'm like are you free to talk yeah and that's when I switch over to conversation because I'm completely honest about the the fact that I don't like texting okay uh, but <clears throat> red what you just said then like. Uh, and I, I hundred percent feel exactly the same. Uh, I don't want to call them; it's a burden. Uh, they might be busy. Blah 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 blah. Mm. That's just you projecting your feelings. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's how you feel. Yeah, sure, um, exactly. And if if even if that is the case, that is exactly the fucking time when they need someone to speak to. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If somebody doesn't have time, or is upset, or stressed, or doesn't want to talk. It's like it's one of those things where it's like, no, that's when you need to talk. Yeah. yeah. Just just talking when you're happy and free and have all the time in the world, that's not when you need the conversation, right? That's mm -hmm. just that's easy. You know, the, the the difficult time is when you need that conversation. So yeah. I don't feel like that because I felt like that so yeah. many times. Well yeah. Al, I'm I mainly agree with that, but there's still that other point that I think that we and I'm unless I'm busy, then don't fucking ring me. Right? Exactly. <laughs> I'm not, no, I'm not sure if it's about the making community, but I think we overthink things way too much. Yeah. Sometimes, if you're thinking about someone, being it's like you remember, like thinking mm -hmm. back to make a central, you met someone, you talk to him. Why, like, why keep back? Mm -hmm. The worst thing that can happen is like, dude, right now is not a good time to talk because I'm really busy. And it's like, oh no, just I was just thinking about you. Like, even if I'm really I'm busy and I'm at work and somebody calls me up and it's just like, well, I thought like I have a conversation. Do you have time right now? And I'm like, I'm really busy right now. It's just like, no, I was just thinking of you. Fine, like let's do it another day. I still it leaves me with a good feeling. Somebody thought about me. Somebody gave me a freaking call just to like, and it's not to ask for anything. It's just for the sake of having a conversation. It's like, yeah. dude, I was just going like through pictures or anything like that. It's like, we met there. I just wanted to have a talk. Like anytime. I, I've discovered a super nice middle ground. 
and I'd never thought I'd ever do this ever. Hmm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. May I guess is this what I do with Steve and just start a conversation by insulting him? What well, that's normal, that's Steve. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> <laughs> little voice memos and voice notes. It's a oh. super nice way to get across yeah. how you feel, speak in a way which is heartfelt and doesn't use emojis, um, but doesn't require any feedback. So you can leave someone a note, yeah, and it's a really nice in between if you if if the person doesn't have time. Because more and more now, if I'm sending or receiving those voice memos, I'm mm -hmm. like, this is a really nice way to communicate. And it's superhuman yeah. and it I removes that I kind of soul. It Try it. It's, oh, it's really I, nice. I, I, I hate. Unless it's emojis. Tim from Turgworks. And he's <laughs> just constantly spamming my WhatsApp with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because he's bored in the car. Because that, that's my experience with voice memos. It's just like people sending me those and I'm like, dude, I like, first of all, like, you know, calling it's a message and I'm at work right now. So I can listen to it because there's like 50 other people around me. <laughs> I mean, you don't need to put it on speakers and like broadcast it to the whole office. You know what I mean? No, but still like, this is, th that's more like an inconvenience. And I have buddies that are like, just because they're too lazy to, to type and it's just a little things. So I see like the message is like four seconds long <laughs> and you press on it. It's just like, yo, what's up? Uh, <laughs> what the actual I mean, fuck? No, that would at least be five or six seconds. <laughs> but my, my experience with voice memos is that they are absolutely the worst. Why is that? <laughs> because, well, um, I, I, I get uh, Al's point of I just want to tell you my experience, my feelings about th something or convey something. It's some... not a conversation, is what you mean. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. It's, yeah. it's very one sided. Mm -hmm. So whenever I got the voice memo, but have I'm you ever like, had a conversation with Steve? This is what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> very, very yeah. true. <laughs> uh, I, 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 it's just in my mind that if you're not sort of trying to relay important information, then it should be spelled out so it's easy to look mm -hmm. back at, and not have to listen to a whole voice memo and then write it down and did I recall it correctly and all of that. It's like no, it's fine. It's a terrible here. idea. No, don't do it. Just. But no, 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 I, no, I, I don't also, agree. I also I do struggle agree. with the thing of it's it's really difficult for me to have it being a part of conversation simply because of what it is. It's sort of like, like here's my thoughts and that that's that's it. So, yeah, if if I guess if it's someone I know really, really well and it's part of a longer conversation, mm -hmm. it's easier to keep track of. But... Um, I, I also guess I have a couple of experiences of people who are like, uh, especially IT people who also are very uh, ADHD. So they just realize, oh, I don't have time to type out all the things I want to say, but I also have no idea what I want to say. So I'll just start recording. And it's just this <laughs> long meandering thing with lots of filler words. And I'm like, this is the absolute worst thing <laughs> ever. And you can read through it. You have to listen to it. The whole fucking thing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and he can't skip. Uh, fast forward. <laughs> he can't it, skip. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, you know, you know the VAC model of 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 learning and absorbing information, right? So visual, auditory, and kinesthetic. That so, doesn't exist. Wasn't it Tom Scott that said it? Like that shit doesn't exist. It believe me, it exists. I deal with this every day at work. And <laughs> some people, unless it's unless they touch it, they don't. They they physically can't absorb the information, or unless it's written down, they can't do it. My okay. son um, is like that. Yeah. I mean, if you tell my son, don't touch it, you will yeah. burn yourself. Yeah. He will touch it. And, then and he just, will yeah, fucking yeah. burn it, it himself. It's, it's, yeah, but and he only does it love. once. Yeah, yeah but it's, it's, every, it's single brain, right? <laughs> every single time. Every single time. Don't drop that thing on your foot. It's heavy. <laughs> he will drop it. Just to feel how heavy 21, it is. 21, 22, 20. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's how he learn. Are, are and, you sure and, he's all that smart? He's super smart. It, 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 it's, uh, he just doesn't sure? believe you, though. That's that's, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. Like, but I, I, yeah, I'm, he I'm, says it's hot, but how hot really is it? Like, <laughs> yeah. He's told me this before. <laughs> I think he's fucking smart, but he has trust issues or something exactly. like that because he, he, uh, he just wants to experience stuff just to know how he feels it himself, just to to be prepared for next time or to have the 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 experience, the physical memory of it for him to to store in his brain like oh yeah it hurts yeah. so, so you, you, you remember you remember sounds you remember smells it's the, it's the reptilian part of your brain mm. that, that it's the oldest 
quickest part of your brain to to to, to create memory structures um and especially with you three guys but with most of the people i know you're all fucking cartoon characters so i your <laughs> voice is part of that conversation so when i if if you if you send me a text message raz i read it in your voice oh, in yeah. my head oh yeah. shit same yeah. with you red yeah. so that 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 audio file is almost playing regardless of whether you've sent it to me or not because that's what i associate it with i associate you know brett's voice jesse's voice carol's voice all these voices with the way they speak yeah um i'm kind of scared that i'm not in that to these little characters on the screen you know it it does that for me especially for raz and steve yeah. i don't know why <laughs> that that I, I, when i when i have a message from steve it's totally steve's voice in my head whatever the message is which is kind of fun but i, I totally get because he mean, types right? the same way he writes <laughs> <laughs> you read my lover <laughs> <laughs> I totally get what you what you say with the memos, like uh, in in um, be, being the next step after, aside from like you engage a conversation with a message with a text, then you jump to a memo, and if if you are both uh, available and and wanting to talk, you can then phone. Like it would be it would be a step further than just sending a text. In order to engage in a in not especially more serious conversation, but mm -hmm. maybe a deeper relationship with someone, um, I I like the idea of doing that, and I I also get why Raz don't like the, the the idea of doing it because you can't skip and fast forward and you have to listen to all the whole and thing. And he hates people. And he hates people. <laughs> he don't like talking and he's like True. alone True. In, in the forge. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I I I like the idea. Still, I have the the feeling and it's just me at, as you said uh, Al, it's just me with my own feelings uh, not willing to disturb people so mm. i i i feel uh i'm in is that what invasive yeah. uh when 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 i text people like i know i i know that uh amongst all the people that i text on a really on a not daily basis but regularly um i know that two or three people will answer right away uh, because they are free, because I know how they work. Uh, I, I know they can answer even if they are working. I know they are available at that time of the day. And I know that my relationship with them is strong enough or close enough for them to answer right away. But for other people, I'm not sure. So will I disturb them? Uh, will I be annoying? Will I... Uh, um be seen as someone needy if i i start texting them or sending memos so it's also a, a big reason for me three years ago uh, to have felt this maker blues after maker central because I, I wanted to stay in touch with people because i was so excited about the the weekend and the week mm -hmm. i was like yeah that's that's great we we are super close now because we have spent so much time and done so much stuff together that it feels like a, a close family. And when everybody was back home and getting back to work with and, and getting back to the family and their regular friends, like real life friends, not in the maker community, it was hard to get in touch with them because it was like, yeah, but maybe it was it was just me that felt that way for that week. And maybe if my feeling was that strong, is because I oversaw it. I had I had too high expectation for the week and for this relationship, and it was not mutual. It was not um, shared by everyone. So having this feeling and not able to uh, deal with it at the time uh, made made me made me go so much deep deeper into the maker blues because I, I had no clue how to deal with that situation and that feeling so that that that's that's the the origin of my, of my question on why how not why but how you are dealing with it and keeping in touch with people yeah obviously is the the right answer to that but it's it's the the how is difficult this equilibrium because i fucking hate the word balance but that equilibrium to equilibrium to find between um, I reach out because I need it uh, and I reach out because maybe the other one needs it. Um, there, there is this fine line to find uh, where you are not annoying to the other one because he or she just want to be 
left alone in peace quiet because it's overwhelming to to be contacted by so many people all the time and it happens in the community uh, so the the respect and the love that you have for these people is also uh, not contacting them which is super weird because it can also be like if people are oh red is super busy with the remodel of the apartment so i'm not contacting him because <laughs> I know he's busy, plus he's married and he has a kid. No, fuck that. I have time. <laughs> I have to, to fire away. I'm I'm here. So I will answer, not maybe right away, but I'm always willing to, to exchange ideas, tip, chat with people. I'm super happy when I get a message. So I'm not saying it's just it, it's the case, but it's the 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 the, the limit is super hard to find. I and think. that's a prime that's a prime example for overthinking it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I know. No, no, no. Not I'm, normal I'm... people would just be like, what the fuck is he on about? Just send a message. Yeah, just, just, just call. Sure. No, yeah. I know it's it, it, but it's also one of the um, symptoms of, of Make Your Blues, I think. You're mm. like overthinking it is like, what happened that week? It's just, it was just a fucking weekend with friends <laughs> and you've seen, you've seen amazing stuff, interesting stuff, new project, new ideas, new techniques. That's fine. But now we know that there will be another one. There will be another time. There will be a next event. And and dealing with that idea is also difficult because for the first two like seasons of Maker Central, we were so unsure that there will be a next one. So it was like a, a one-time event. And and so we had to to enjoy it like yeah, as we, much as possible. And we're so not sure. Exactly. If there were, like, no, it's we have, it, 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 yeah, but now now we yeah. know we can plan it over. You, if even if if Maker Central is not happening, we can have uh, Hanover Maker Fair. We can have uh, events that we plan uh, as makers, like aside from any big event organized by someone else. We can do our own stuff uh, with people that we like and enjoy working with, or just meeting, you know, field somewhere in England or elsewhere, yeah. and just like gather and and make stuff and just spend a nice weekend together. I th that I think, can I happen. Think, I think we all agreed that Maker Central was just an excuse for us to actually yeah. meet up that specific Absolutely. weekend. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Maker Central was pretty much irrelevant to why we wanted to come. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a great amount of fun to see other people's work and meet completely new people. But you all was like, no, first of all, I want to meet the right kind of mad people. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also share the, the 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 madness with other people. That was a, a big reason for me also to to go this year to be involved with uh, Make With Makers, uh, and and Al again. Thank you for doing such an amazing work, uh, prepping everything, and just being in touch with um, all of us and and Nick and and being the uh, chain link between I th everything. I think your title should be Shepherd of Cats. There we go. Yeah. Because oh, I mean, sorry, I thought you said something else. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I mean, I think I think that's was that's what it seemed like <laughs> that you were trying to do because makers are even at best of times <clears throat> not very organized, and you were trying to get everyone to give you all. They're very the organized when it comes to doing their own thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But then you were trying to get everyone to work together, and how many people were at them bake with bakers thing? Were we twenty something? Getting that way, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was like you, you, you did did a great job, and yeah, it was. It was you, it's been a long time in the making. You were involved like it started like what six months ago. The yeah. all the, the prep for Maker Central, right? So I, I I understand now it's done and it's over. The weekend is over. The Maker Blues can eat yeah. even harder because of all the prep that you did before. And, and you you don't have that distraction that you did before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, yeah. so so I have a question then for you. So just going back to the um red the the giving people a phone call sending them a text message mm -hmm. um raz i think this i'd love to know what you think because um the way you reacted to the audio thing um i think one of the reasons is the whole mobile phone thing right mm -hmm. it's like answer me answer me answer me the little flashing red lights and no yeah. you know it's, it's stressful as fuck right having this in your pocket all the time and i i i'm i'm that guy red i will never answer the phone <laughs> yeah me neither 
it, it stresses yeah, me really. out. Really? The last like, time, <laughs> sorry, I interrupt. The, the, <laughs> the last time I answered my phone, it was a fucking scam, and the guy wanted my my <laughs> my uh, uh, pin code uh, pin code to access my my bank account and and <laughs> steal all my money. And it was three days ago. So yeah, there is a reason I don't answer don't phone calls anymore. Yeah, don't answer the phone. Um, but okay, so you know, a text message might be misunderstood and n not answered immediately and oh, why did you not answer my phone what about writing a letter right old so, school so, snail mail so, the, so there's people that write me letters and i think they're wonderful and yan you've sent me letters you know i think they're a, a wonderful heartfelt uh honest emotive thing right that doesn't put any stress on the recipient this nobody's is... but nobody's expecting you to immediately write a letter back, put it in the same pigeon, and then send it back. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's it's you've sent me this without any expectation. You just want me to read it at my own pace. Exactly. No, and this is something for me. Writing letters is going all the way back before the cell phone time. Everything like not just a nostalgic, but like a really pure thing. Yeah. I like to do, and it's, it's considered... something I put a lot of thought into it because it's not taking your cell phone and typing something. Or yeah. just sitting down on the laptop and just like typing something down because it's like my everyday work process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just taking the time. I hope this email evening. finds you well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, it's it's actually going out. Um, I, I bought special paper, like yeah, nice. writing paper with the lines and everything. And then I sit down and I have my special pen and I just mm -hmm. sit down and and I then I go through three and my papers. writing hat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like the writing hat. No, it's just, it's basically just wasting three pieces of paper because um, I'm. Freaking! I can't handwrite anymore. <laughs> that this is how bad it gotten. Like this is how digital we are in these times. It's like if you actually try to sit down, like even if you said like, oh yeah, I remember writing a letter. If you sit down right now, like for all the listeners, and try to write a letter, you're gonna find something that's gonna bother you about it because letters don't look the same when you're like when you're typing the email. It's personalized. Mm -hmm. That's what it is all about. Mm -hmm. I have a shitty yeah. handwriting, so for me, I actually have to write a letter two or three times. English is not my first language, so there's gonna be mistakes. It looks gonna look like shit. So I just have to like go through it like three times. So I'm like, he might know what I'm trying to say, <laughs> put it together, and then send it out. But it's the process of it. It's that that the whole like putting thought into it, and this is something I kind of cherish about those. This Choosing is a nice I'm... little stamp that goes with it. Oh, I love it. I haven't gone it's this far, but oh. uh, yeah. I actually quite enjoyed that one, Red, because mm -hmm. I've received one of those letters before. Yeah, no, it, absolutely. But it's putting thought into it and it's uh, putting the time into it. Yeah. I, I but, guess that's what it's all about, just showing someone you care. And the more time you spend in that, I mean, the more you care about them. Sure. Or is that just oversimplifying things? <laughs> no, no, I, I no, no, I think that's kind of right. Yeah, you can also do things which take no time that show you care yeah i mean well you, you i think you were going on to ask me about the whole calling people thing oh no about writing letters okay do you, do you uh, write, is that acceptable form of communication for you as yes it is <laughs> except i'm i have never i write them it. in the blood of my enemies with a <laughs> <laughs> yeah and i have so few enemies left it's really hard to write letters these days uh, no I, I i've never actually really written a letter to someone well there you go that's why you're so fucking miserable. <laughs> I'm not miserable. <laughs> I just eaten. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. You've never r wrote a letter to anyone. I've written postcards. No, that's not the same. No, that's no, just, a, letters, that's just a thin text. Not even yeah. a love letter or or anything for a friend or girl or. Oh, oh, okay. Official so here, here, later that's not true. I actually, well, at least, at least, at least as I know that for a fact that he wrote notes before. Because yeah. I received a bottle opener from Raz in the mail with like, I was absolutely excited because I didn't expect anything. It's coming from no way. So I opened it up and there was a small folded letter with it. And it read, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> that was all there was. Raz, <laughs> that he was meant it, yeah. <laughs> he, 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 he meant it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. But it was heartfelt. 
I have to bottle uh, open. I still have that note. <laughs> so you can you can write letters, right? Oh, so. I mean, my my handwriting isn't all that bad. I'm I, of my no, brothers, it was clearly understandable. Fuck all of off. the things. <laughs> and like every, every time, like we are wrapping Christmas gifts or anything like that, I am the ro- one who has to write the card for it because my other brother's handwriting is absolutely horrible. So why don't you do it? Uh, well, I, uh, as Jan said, I tend to write the small thank you things that I send out with every order. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's about it. Well, if you ever wonder that why there are no repeating of... customers, maybe not write fuck off in the letter. <laughs> <laughs> You're still here. Yeah, not, not every time. That's what that I was mean. actually before I was here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it worked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but actually, actually, uh, when I lived in Hurdal, I started uh, dating a girl that was living in the same house as me. But because of our schedules, we in the first two months, we hardly saw each other. So we flirted only by post-it notes. Nice. That's nice. That's yeah, cool. we stayed together for nearly two years. It was amazing. <laughs> Act- honestly, the best relationship I've ever been in. And it started with <laughs> post-it notes. Never met. <laughs> just, just, just it no, with, of course. Just touch it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> No, like she, she, she moved in with me before we got together, but because of our schedules, like our most of our communications was with post-it notes. So uh, that that was that was. Fun. I would have loved have to read those arguments. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck <but> you. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I actually have all of them. I think I kept. I think I kept at least my half of st- or the conversation she gave me. I think I think I kept all of them in a jar somewhere. So that's sort of a fun thing to have. Um, but yeah, I, I guess I should. Would have been more efficient to store them in a jar. But every uh, come on, rest. But at least have you done it? Like in an argument, just like take the post-its and like put them like new sentences. Would you like stop <laughs> twisting my words in the like most <laughs> literally <laughs> way that is possible? <laughs> uh, no, but I should have. <laughs> I should have generated a scenario just to have Djokovic. Yeah. Which we all know I'm more than capable of doing that, <laughs> just for the joke. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's great. But I, I don't know, the, the whole... I, I guess the whole calling people thing is really weird for me. Especially because, like, in The Forge, I need to shut everything down to talk to people. Mm. So it's always this big hassle of, like, oh, fuck off, like someone wants me to stop everything I'm doing just to have a conversation with them, especially when it's potentially only a new customer and I'm already fully booked. It's like, no. Uh, if they really want me, they can send me a text. But <laughs> like, when it comes to texting, like that's brilliant because I can I can look at I can look at it in between heats, I can reply in between heats, and I can don't don't lose the momentum of working. And put it into notion. Shut up, I'm I'll get to it. <laughs> uh, but then of course I have also been living with my phone on like permanent silent mode it doesn't even vibrate for mm-hmm. two years and something yes. mm-hmm. and it's blissful I mean it means that whenever I'm not actually having my phone in front of me it doesn't exist yeah. so people who try to get a hold of me is like nope <laughs> uh, I, tr- I, try, I try to sort of turn that yeah, off you... so when people when I'm actually expecting people to call me it will make a sound. I can notice it, but apart from that, it, I... it means that you are deliberately cutting yourself from other people to contacting you because you are busy or working. So you have a good reason, but you you are making the choice to be unreachable. Well, not unreachable, but I don't want the phone to demand attention from me unconditionally. Okay. Yeah, I totally get that. Yeah, I, I hear it, you. We, that's the problem with someone calling me because it demands immediate attention now. What if what if, what if it's an emergency, like s- someone in in real like danger or call me like... twice. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm, on, I'm honest, dying. Honest, Help me. No, no, but on, be, honestly, be, like, I'm dying again. Yeah. No, honest, that's like uh, the way it works on the Android phone, at least in priority mode, Same is iPhone. that if you call two times within ten minutes. It will make the sound. Okay. Also, I, I have a list that. of favorites mm-hmm. on my phone. Same on iPhone. Which is like family. If they're dying and they're your favorite and they're dying. <laughs> yes. Okay. Then, then it will make a sound noise and I will hear it. Okay. Uh, but I'm testing like, it right now. 
but uh, I get your point though. But it's also it, the concept of what kind of an emergency can I help with in the moment? Like you can help with anything. Yeah, but like what if it's a kind of emergency? If I emergency don't recall. Yeah. Okay, mate. That that's a good point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See. Uh, oh, no, you're but, depressed. But... Like, let me tell you about my hammer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is my little hammer. Um, but you get my point, though. Like, yeah, yeah. if someone is calling you and if they can't reach you in those thirty seconds or whatever, they're dead. Then how could I help them? Um. Yeah. Well. Moral um, support. Yeah. yeah. True, true. No, I'm, I'm, I'm asking, and that, that, that's sort of a good point that you have raised. But um, when I was 15 and I was in high school, I got a phone call on a Wednesday afternoon. It was like probably a quarter, quarter to two in the afternoon. And I was supposed to go to my practice, sports practice, like in, in 15 minutes, right? Got that phone call. And it was actually a friend from my classroom who had swollen like 20 pills uh, mm. and she was totally depressed she had swollen the pills and she was calling to say goodbye right oh, wow. yeah that was like so fun to leave um, I couldn't do much because I was far away didn't have my driving license didn't have a car couldn't couldn't just go there and help her but uh, I Knowing that she was indeed of in need of help, I was able to uh, call a friend living like three hundred meters away from her to for her to go there to rush there and call the firefighters and an ambulance mm. on her way there or just before she leave she leaved uh, her house just to save her life. My the first one, uh, the first girl that called me, and so. In that sense, we succeed. She was saved. So, so together, just by answering the phone that day at that time, we saved her life. So, yeah, sure, you can't do much in in some situation, but you can do also so much just by being there when people call for you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And it, it I'm, I'm not saying against that, mm -hmm. but I, I would like to ask, like, you probably knew that she was struggling beforehand. Not really. Because she was super good at hiding it. So when she called me and she told me I've stolen that many pills and I'm just calling to say goodbye, I was like, what the fuck? What are, what's, what's happening? Tell me why. And so we talked for five, ten minutes. And when I understood it, it was actually serious. It was actually happening because she was slowly, um, the, the, the way she, she was speaking Slow. was mm -hmm. getting slower and slower. Oh. So she was falling asleep. Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah, fuck you. Hang off. Called my other <laughs> friend, and, and, and we saved her because that yeah. that that yeah. that's the only thing that that we could do that I could do was to phone someone else just to get there. Um, but no, and I, I understand also also what you're meaning. I mean, so sometimes you are you are just not able to help anyone in any situation because you are not in the right mindset or you are uh, busy or yourself not good, so you're you're not able to help someone. To, to to rise up because you are so low and down yourself so it's difficult but it's also mutual you can help so many people just by sharing your experience and and, and what yeah. you're going through can, can i just shoot in first al yeah uh that I, I i love to talk to my friends on the phone but it's all i never always answer them mm -hmm. but it's often like if i'm in i'm in the middle of something mm -hmm. i will ask them uh, or depending on the conversation and like who it is and all that, because I have friends who call me because they need someone to talk to. Mm -hmm. Then yes, of course, I'm self-employed. I can shut everything down and we can talk for half an hour and I can work half an hour later. Mm -hmm. That doesn't bother me at all. Yeah. But th it's the whole thing of customers. I don't know calling and demanding my attention. No, sure, sure. Yeah, that's okay. yeah. that's struggle. That I struggle with that. Uh, of course, that's a bad thing when you run a business. But also, that's why I have a list of people on my phone that will always be able to get to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I will always pick up the phone. I will always answer it. But I might say, I'm in the middle of something. Mm -hmm. Can we have this conversation in half an hour when I finish 
Oh, so you're, you're, you're just like, Steve, let me call you back in you know, half an hour and he never calls back. <laughs> oh, that, that would be horrible. Can, only, can you put me on that list? No. Please. Get me off that list. <laughs> I just want to know I can insult you anytime I'm trying to call you. <laughs> now you've shut everything down, Raz. I just wanted to say fuck you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, Al, you, you were going no, to say um, it, it, I, I, Red, Red made the point beautifully. Um, I, obviously, your story, Red, was extreme and really kind of proved the point. But I think you can you can help people even when you don't know you're helping them, mm-hmm. yeah. right? Yeah. So, so even just just answering that call, um, Jan, you're talking about replying to a text message. Like, not every message needs a full and uh, considered reply, which is takes up your time and your, your your thought process just the acknowledgement that you got it right like yeah. I, I i'm here and i heard you that can be enough for some sometimes and that can be all somebody needs is like did you hear what i said well yeah. and also it's like even if you're in trouble and you call me it's like um after 10 o'clock it's not that i hit you it's just that i'm old and i'm asleep <laughs> and my, my <laughs> cell phone is just shut off <laughs> until the next morning <laughs> but the, but even even seeing that missed call it's like, well, I now know well, that, that yeah. person would 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 reach yeah. out to me. Yeah, and that's, and, that's and super important. Even though no words were exchanged. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It, it I mean, that is a sign of something, especially if it's a friend that normally wouldn't call at all. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So even if you miss it in the moment, at least you know, oh, I need to follow up on this. I need to yeah. check in. Or, or just I'm on that person's mind. Yeah, you know yeah. they do think about me. <laughs> you know, when it comes down to this, like it's funny how we all have like different approaches to the whole thing. Um, I really like a friend of mine. She actually told me, it's like, you know what? I come with, I, I come with instructions. <laughs> okay. So it's like, this is, this is how I work. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like, not everybody might gonna like it, but this is exactly like how I function. This is how I work. And so it's for everybody to understand if they like it or not. And this is kind of one mm. of the things that I try to be a little bit more Sounds of. Like a narcissist. To me. <laughs> no, yeah. it's, it's not. It's it's not, it's not really a narcissist because she's completely there for her friends. But she says just like I come with instructions. Like there's stuff I like and there's stuff I don't like. <laughs> yeah, but we all do, and we yeah, are yeah. like exactly. upfront with it. Like I don't like this and I like this. So th- that's that's the way I function. That's the way I work. So you have to bend to my rules if you want to be my friend. I'd rather like, you didn't wear red T-shirts, actually, Jan, because I don't yeah. like red T-shirts. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> no, I, 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 I understand. I understand your point, Jan. But I, I think that's so unfair to people uh, to just go upfront uh, to other people. Like, this is how I work. If you don't like it, leave it, uh, and then and, and not doing any kind of effort to make it work, make the relation. Oh work no, no, no! This is not what I, this people, is not. Like, this is not what I meant at all. With okay. It. Like no 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 she's she's like this is this is how I'm functioning like she's really upfront about like how st- about stuff she likes not but she mm-hmm. will always like be there if somebody calls or talks to her but she's just basically as a, as a warning upfront is always going like well you know I I come with instructions like I'm there's certain things I'm good with and there's certain things I'm not good with. And yeah, but what, like, what like everyone. Yeah, exactly. But what I was trying to say, like, she's open about it. Yeah. Like, she's yeah. like, okay, so it's like, I'm not trying to, but like, well, now that's not the wrong, the right way to say it. She She's basically saying this, what she is saying with that is that she comes with instructions. Is Oh, she comes with instructions. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I've, I've, known, I've known girls like that. <laughs> <laughs> Bad elf. Bad L. <laughs> no, I found that to be brilliant. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's no, it's, it's, it's just... It saved me hours. <laughs> Sometimes weeks. Months. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I kind of, I, I kind of, like, I kind of appreciate it because she's, like, really open um, with, like, how she deals in certain situations. And um, what I kind of realized is like how we all have different ways to approach it. We often are not honest about it. Mm-hmm. So it's more the honesty no. part that it's like, like you said, Red, it's like you don't like to be called. Or um, Al, where it's like, oh, it's a bother to you if you... If I never said things. I don't like to be called. Well, yeah. by, by friends, but you said it's like the last one who called you tried to scam you. So you hate picking up the phone. 
Yeah, but, but, but it was an want. unknown phone number. So I was like, maybe it's a guy from a delivery that I ordered earlier that I forgot about, and it was just a fucking scammer. But oh, if you, oh, if I have a hard policy of like unknown numbers, unknown uh, numbers yeah. are yeah. not being Usually answered. You, yeah, you don't pick up, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, and 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 so so do I. But <laughs> this time I was I don't know why I just like oh maybe I forgot about the delivery for the apartment, and so I pick up and I, it was not just and, and yeah I I. Good. I Good call. Also, I amend that to if like, oh, I'm expecting something and I don't know what, and I'll yeah. maybe try to pick it up if I am able to, so to speak. Mm. But I mean, fuck people. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I I understand, Jan, what you're saying about your friend and being upfront is. And she's not in a negative way. Like she's doing it. Yeah, yeah, no, I, t- I totally get it. I totally get get what you mean, and 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 that's good. What I don't like. Is people being like, "Hey, my name is such and such, and and this is how I am," and fuck you, no, that, that, actually, because that, actually, that's what I hear. Mm-hmm. Just what 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 mm-hmm. say, Chris? That's what I hear. Is this is the way I am? If you don't like me, I'm not gonna make any kind of effort. Yeah, this uh, this is what I communi- anyway. and I communicated so, that the wrong way. No, no, she's she's just really like upfront about what it, what she likes, what she don't like, or what she reacts and what she. Like doesn't react to. Yeah, but, but me too. Like... But it takes me time to express this over a relationship. I mean, I don't drink alcohol. I hate coffee. The smell of coffee and taste of coffee. I don't like when people are drinking coffee next to me. But I'm not going there. Hey, I'm red. Don't drink coffee next to me because I will fuck you up. I mean, that's that's not how, how it works, <laughs> right? So, and I'm just I'm red. Nice to meet you. And and when someone is drinking, <laughs> yeah, <but laughs> let's talk someone... about my household. <laughs> <laughs> when someone is drinking coffee next to me, I just take a step back, just not to be annoyed by it, by the smell, because it just makes me physically sick to to smell the the, the smell of of coffee, right? But it doesn't bother me that other people are, are drinking coffee because they enjoy it. So I'm not like, I don't like you because you 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 drink coffee. I'm not like, oh, if you eat meat, you are my enemy. No, fuck you. I mean, let people be what they want to be or how they don't are. yak somebody else's yum <clears throat> it's just it just kind of to me it's just respect for other people D- learn to know how they are what they are who they are but it takes time being too upfront with who you are and what you like and you don't like it's like a warning to people to not bother you with stuff and and i i mean i it's it just just doesn't work for me like yeah as as i was joking earlier i mean i don't like red shirt what i why are you re- it, it, like it makes you one? sound like um like mariah carey or something yeah like, it's, it's is like, my rider you don't exactly nobody's yeah. allowed to drink coffee in my fucking d- drama apartment. queen like i i mean th- this is my requirement to be a friend with you <laughs> like i mean come on yeah i i i, I get where you're coming from red but for me i find that really nice when people can sort of say hey i in in my case it's like uh, if yeah, just so you it, know i have tourettes <laughs> <laughs> that's super helpful yeah. that for is example, helpful I, actually example, no my, my point was more in just like how you communicate with people online because there's so many different platforms to choose and some people have a really strong preference for one and a really yeah. strong dislike for another like trying to reach jan on facebook now doesn't work basically yeah, yeah. yeah. And and I'm the same with Snapchat. When like it, being out dating, there's a lot of people who like to date and flirt using Snapchat. I'm like, no. Yeah, if you really want to get a hold I, of I us, check our I... only fans page. <laughs> <laughs> I always answer my own. <laughs> <laughs> or do I? Uh, no. Uh, so like Snapchat is one of those things where it's it doesn't seem like. Uh, a valid form of communication for me it's it's like twitter where you just shout things and then they disappear yeah. that's yeah. how i feel snapchat is if you want to have a long conversation especially me who like to go back and like check oh did i say this thing already or did mm. i not did i s- express myself like in a difficult way so that's why you're not yeah. understanding this like i i really like to be able to go back and look at these things so snapchat is the worst for me yeah. But any of the other things that's written is super easy, especially because I can pop it up in between heats and the forge. So I've had long conversations with people going for days where they haven't even noticed I've been at work because 
I just I'll answer every other every other minute, every three minutes, because that's when my heat is up. Yeah. I find it very interesting that in such a short period of time, we the 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 way we communicate just changed uh, from black to white or white to black. Like I remember when my I was a kid uh, living at, living for, just for the summer for two months of summer at my grandparents' house uh, in the mountains. Mm -hmm. uh, when they received the letter, it was like an event. It was it was something. It was something important. People like you said took time to write a letter and so it was it was uh, art, artfully written and it was not especially important but it was important to them because somebody took the time to do it yeah, okay. same thing with a phone call when someone was calling it was important what what whatever the conversation was about something so, someone sick someone dead or a wedding or just nothing just to chat it was something important and now we are carrying uh, a cell phone in our pocket, but we are discussing about how not to be bothered answering the phone or answering a text message because it can be annoying. So it's just like yeah. communication went, it became so easy that now we have to make choices about what to, what, to, how to communicate and, so and what to say with people. Yeah, so accessible. So it changed in, in like 40 years, it went for, from like, the really important communication in a good or bad way, like good news or bad news, to something so trivial, so so common that that we are protecting ourselves from it. I mean, it's 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 just crazy. It's not good or bad. I mean, from my point of view, it, it's absolutely wonderful that we can communicate. We wouldn't be here recording the podcast and, podcast and having this conversation without internet and and that yeah. means of communication obviously and i would not have friends all over the world from the makers community obviously or would not have friends or not have friends uh, although at Red, all. You just, yeah. just give me idea for a, a, like a, a written podcast where you each write each other letters and there's, there's like three people and, <laughs> and then after a year you collect all the letters together <laughs> and you publish a book yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it happens. It's good. Yeah, actually a really reading. curious content. Could, could be nice to have a yeah, modern podcast the old way, the old yeah. fashioned way. Yeah. Hmm. Oh my God. Just think about it. It would take like weeks for Rasmus to get his insult. No, 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 no. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> like, I want to really insult Rasmus right now. <sighs> but then I have to wait three weeks till he gets a letter. <laughs> and then it takes another three weeks till I get the fuck you back. <laughs> PS Everyone's and clapping is out of sync. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Let's clap. Damn it, we're all <laughs> missing each other by hours. Yeah. yeah. Oh, should, should, we, should we move over to the focus thing? Or yes. Yeah, the probably. Yeah. Bit of thinky thoughts. Mm. Al, you want to yeah. start? Yeah, for sure. Um, so normally, as as I say, when when I come out of the things like the um. The Maker Central or an event like that or or Maker Fair where where Joe and Sophie and I did it, um, I would be like, oh, the kids, the kids, the kids, the kids, right? And it's like super inspiring for me. It gives me faith. Um, we, we talk a lot about the education system on on Filled with Tools and and how it's kind of failing people and what's the alternative. Um, but in the interest of focusing, I want to get down into one kid that really blew my mind uh, at Maker Central, um, and. I won't give her name out in the interest of uh, child protection, um, <laughs> but the Instagram account I think is set up by her father, um, but it's basically about her. Um, it's super nice, and it's Sprocket Scientist. So all one word, Sprocket Scientist. I think I'm following that already. Yeah. Um, I mean... Painting robot? Made a little robot, um, but she does loads of cool stuff, into electronics, loads of STEM, super creative, um, but also like really old school like just loads of like beastie boys vibes and like skateboarding and the kids like you know six seven years old but <laughs> it just just totally resonates with like you know everything that i think is needed in 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 young people and, and what's going to make them great when they grow up oh, so um this, this is good it's a really really good account um and she she has like 300 followers so I want to get this ramped up. So if everyone can go and follow Sprocket Scientist yep. on Instagram. I'm on it. Nice. Yep. Done. Yeah, no, she, she seems to have a decent amount of attitude. Yes, big time. 
In the healthy kind, though. Yes. I mean, at the moment, it seems <laughs> healthy. Perfect. That's me. Right. Jan? Mine? Oh, me? Okay. I, I don't care. Uh, yeah, I'll go first as Jan is checking. No, um, I just described it in Instagram. Okay, cool. Uh, so... so I go first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go for it. No, fuck you. I go in. Um, when I was a kid, I had a dream. I wanted to be a drummer. And it was probably too noisy or too expensive. So I got to get a guitar because mm. way cheaper and loud. Better than the flute. And, yeah. <laughs> Damn it. So um, I, I always in how, oh, whatever you pronounce it, when I see a really good drummer and I stumble upon one uh, uh, on TikTok, I'm, I'm going to try to say his name or the, the name of the uh, account. It's El Estepario Siberiano, I think. But I'm not sure at all. This guy is, is absolutely fantastic drummer crazy great sense of humor does some amazing tricks um so we'll put a link in the uh, show notes and everything but yeah if you like uh good music uh great musicians and especially drummers uh go and follow the, this guy because it is really good nice Ooh. i'm gonna go next Yes, do that. Okay. Um, so, actually, for me, it's well, all returning one, but um, I had a, because it's only been like half a week since we recorded last time, uh, what, which was cracking me up today. Uh, did you guys see the Instagram story of Alan from Crafts with Alan? No, not yet. Not today? today? No. Okay. No. So, basically, she decided that she's going to do the whole intro video for the heavy metal knitting contest. Nice. Oh, nice. And she has yeah. like till Sunday to do it. Uh -huh. And this morning she decided it's like, well, you know what? I'm going to do it and I know what to do it. So um, instead of just going out and doing a video, she's like, well, I want to do this, but I need a green screen. So she w went out and got a green screen. <laughs> and then I'm like, now I have to learn how to use it. Also, I want another, um, like, there, there's certain things she like went through and the different projects that she threw over. She's like, yeah, I'm going to do them all. And I've been watching it. It's like, that's going to be a lot of stuff to do for, for that one video. <laughs> but I, that's just exactly what everything that fits in from Aftermaker Central with like being, she basically starts a video with like, I woke up this morning and I knew what to do. And like my creativity is sparked again. And that's all that comes together like Aftermaker Central. And you can see it left and right. Like people are getting energized again, more creative, uh, mm -hmm. coming up with new ideas, following through with them. And uh, especially seeing Ellen like just going with all of that and creating a video. That's why I want to focus her for that because that's just, it's the right amount of crazy. And I love that. <laughs> yes. Ellen definitely is the yeah. right amount of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> then I have a YouTube channel, but more specifically, yes, you do. A, 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 playlist of this youtube channel that is currently one video in but it's called doughy with joey so it's just, the, so you have one video yes but the, it's not called a playlist if there is only one video <laughs> I mean, no it is in a playlist and it's one of many videos that he will be that he said he will be coming out with during the year okay but i mean yes specifically i mean i, I think uh al you'll want to check this out but specifically, I think I can already hear both Franco and Berkey perking up and trying to listen in because it's all about pizza. And this one is all mm. about pizza dough, how mm. how to make like the pizza dough. And he just talks super nerdy about what actually goes into the pizza dough and how to manipulate it and how you can change the flowers to get different results. And uh, and it's called Doughy with Joey. Why don't you want to listen to that? <laughs> uh, it's uh, it's um, Joey Famelli from Tested. Oh. Who's the camera guy on uh, camera guy editor on Tested, mm -hmm. who is doing his own channel and he got thousand subs or thereabout. Uh, I'll I'll get as, as I'll get the link to you now, but if you want like wood fired pizza, if you like wood fired pizza ovens, if you like uh, Italian pizzas, kind of thing, it's definitely a very nerdy jam. Nice. You don't want jam on your pizza, but you get what I mean. Why not? 
because it's not pizza napoliana if you have jam on it <laughs> exactly. unless of course you t- unless you call tomato sauce a jam which i guess you could Pascal, <laughs> i'm only friend i'm not cook we're this not... is an episode in itself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're on, and, we're, and we're not going to mention pineapple because that's going to go into politics. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pineapples <laughs> and pizza. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Any other last little bits? Or are we done? I think we are. Yeah. Sounds like we're done. Thanks, Al, for being with us today. Yes, Thanks, yes. Me thank up. you Great so much. Value. Thank you, it's thank nice you, to be you. on a real podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to interface, isn't it? <laughs> well, no, because I've got to go and do a fucking real, my other one now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes, yes, I have 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> 30 minutes to drink as much beer as possible. <laughs> <laughs> where, where can people find you and what's the other podcast? Yeah. Um, so the other podcast is uh, Fools with Tools. Uh, for some reason, that's not what it's called on various uh, streaming platforms. <laughs> Sometimes it's FWT Podcast. Um, or you will find me not bringing any videos out on my YouTube channel, uh, Al's Hack Shack. And Instagram with the same. And Instagram, yeah. yeah. Sometimes I have, I think, once. And all once the usual year, media. <laughs> and all the social media. Yeah. Um, not TikTok or Snapchat. Or any other, or Twitter, or anything like that. But listeners, did you hear that? Did you hear that? He's not mentioning OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah, but I want to answer my phone calls. Yeah, (laughs) 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 OnlyFans, OnlyFans. But you can find the rest of the pod, or you can find us collectively at the podcast at Two Thirds Focused on any of the mostly social places, and you can find me at Rasmus Lewin and Lewin Smith at No. And I'll have two markets coming up now before the summer uh, in Eidsvoll, a garden market thing, 20, I should have remembered it, 20 something, weekend of the 20 something. And then in Hamar at the Medieval Festival. Cool. And you can find me at Red Smith or The Red Smith everywhere on the internet, basically. <laughs> and me at nerdinventor.com or nerdinventor on the usual social medias, except Facebook. I hate Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> Thank you for coming, Al. Thank yeah. you. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Al. Thank you. Say Have a good hi. week. Yep. Say hi to the others. No. 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 Send <laughs> them a letter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. Nice. Bye bye. Wait. Bye.